I'll see you two in the morning. Sleep well, mio bambino. This ain't gonna cut it. I gotta find a place to stay. So you have to go back soon? Actually, uh, looks like I won't. Uh, Joe's taking. I don't give I'm a sorry. damn. I don't care. Come on, Junior. I'm gonna take you to school. Oh, tough guy. Scaring a woman, huh? Come on. Show me what you got. Vito, please. You're making it even worse. Oh. This isn't your problem. <sighs> Yeah, that's right. Get the fuck out of here. You're gonna be sorry. The both of you. What the hell was that all about? I'm sorry, Vito. We didn't want to bother you with this. Bother me? Bother me with what? Come on, tell me what's going on here, Frankie. Right before he died, Papa borrowed money. A lot of money from a loan shark. Thinking he'd get a better job and pay him back. We found out right after you left for the war. How much? Two thousand dollars. What? Is it fixed yet? There's a couple idiots here brawling in the street. Excuse me, ma'am. Uh, uh, do you know where Joe Barbro lives? To the right of the stairs. And tell him that racket last night has to stop. If he don't like it, he can find another place to live. You made enough cash for all this in the last three years? More like the last three months. I barely had time to furnish the place. Three months? Holy shit. You just gotta know the right shit. You ain't never drove... All right, when it's cold as fuck outside, you gotta give it a little more gas than usual. That's the pedal over there on the right. I know, Joe, I know. Hey, Vito, you know what time it is? It's daytime. How the fuck should I? 
It's time for you to get your own fucking car. Yeah, I'd love to if I could afford one. Who says you're gonna pay for it? You know, you wasn't kidding. They really taught you to drive over there. At least something good come out of it. Ooh, get a load of that, baby. Nice. That's a 42 Jefferson. Beautiful car like that, it'd be a shame to smash the window. You should grab yourself some lockpicks over at Giuseppe's. Welcome to Giuseppe's General Store, a thief's paradise. You name it, he's got it. He even sells phony gun permits and discharge papers for guys tired of getting their... Hey, Giuseppe, I brought you... Uh, we need a set of lockpicks, too. That we do. And guess who's paying for them? Grazie. But you can test it right now. Here, take this lock. You just need to insert the pick into the lock and lift all the pins. You use the wrench to hold the pin. me? Absolutely. Well, here's your chance. Looks like we lost it. So how do you like the car? Not too bad. I think I'll keep it. All right, let's go find ourselves a body shop. They provide the kind of services we're looking for. Hey, that don't sound cheap. Don't worry about it. I got a couple. Just find any body shop. I know the guy who runs it. going how can I help you no license plate <laughs> for you no problem For a new set of wheels? Take your pick, pal. We can paint it any color you like. Take your pick.
Thanks a lot. All right, next you should introduce yourself to Mike Bruski. He'll probably have some work for you. All right, where is he? He owns a junkyard over in Riverside. You can't miss it. 